Hello everybody, and welcome to part 5 of my Third Age Total War Let's Play. Last episode, I can't remember because it was a while ago. I think it was about two weeks ago now. <laughs> and uh, I know what we're going to do this episode though. Um, I just noticed that this, these people are not happy, so let's lower that. So, Whoa. this episode we're going to move uh, Haldir back here apparently. Um, the fort's alright. I should... That's all mine now. I need to... I need to look. I need to put some... Um, Watchtowers down here. So I need another general. I'll send Celebron down. Actually, no, I might just send Haldir. Yes, anyway, last turn, orders, we Lord. moved Legolas down here. Um, this place is blue. They're not very happy, but that's because uh, this guy's coming down. He's gonna, he's gonna garrison it, so that'll be fine. Thranduil's halls, and we've got some money. All right, let's end turn. So last time. I recorded. Um, the new Star Wars film hadn't even come out, and at this point, I've seen it three times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got a kid, and it's no longer winter. There was an orc somewhere. There he is. I'm gonna stick you. Orc army. My Lord. Let's move uh, this spy Don't down here through the Misty Mountains. There's a I shall fort. Continue tomorrow. Okay. So there are enemies in there. Leave them an X, yes, I don't really Lord. care about that place. Yes. It's only making me 200 a making turn. Camp here. Uh, look at this. My Lord. In there. Assembling oh, a mighty really host. Hate, yes. More Tevs. No. Are you happy now? You're happy now. You can have a high tax rate. <laughs> yes, my Lord. Tax is so easy in this game. Alright, let's go attack it. Whoa! Hello! I'm gonna stick you. Yes, my lord. Them rebels. Yes. Let's keep that there. My lord. Approaching quietly. Yeah, let's keep them there. My lord. Uh, pff, should I build some buildings? What's probably the best place to build some buildings? I should get some spearmen. Uh, what else should I build? Farming. That would be good. Stables, better roads. I'm gonna go with farming. It's always better to have strong income. Alright, I'm building some stuff there. At the town, that's not important. Let's go. Oh, I haven't started my timer. Oops! Are they still there? The they right buggered off. Order. End of turn report. Lost some money, that's fine. And I've recruited some spearmen in there because. I saw the army coming and I thought they might need a little bit more help. Alright, Haldir. Your orders, my lord. Okay, there you go. Well, he actually increased the income of that place. Uh, let's retrain. Some men. The fort is doing fine. It's alright where it is. Yes, my lord. I'm worried where those rebels went, so let's go investigate. Unless they went back into here. Your orders, my Take lord. It. We shall engage. Oh wow, I'm gonna need ladders. We shall prevail. All right, well I can just do this then. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Maintain siege. Yes. So next turn, I'm gonna siege it. Everything all right up my north? Everything's fine up north. There's a sheep. Good old little sheepy sheep. Um. Oh, I should have. I didn't discover this place either. Celebron. Yes, my lord. Go up here and investigate. No further, it's probably a very dumb lord, idea. <laughs> we shall continue tomorrow. Right, so there's a fort there. Rivendell should be around here somewhere. We should go say hello to them. Ah, there he is. Actually, where's my diplomat? Is that him? Go Your to the Rohan. You've got a mission. As you wish. Stopping you here. Oh. Look at that. Look at that! I'm gonna have to take that out. Alright, I'll end the turn. So, I went to see Star Wars. Of course it was amazing. Of course all my theories were incorrect. Oh, great. Uh oh. Yeah, it was great. There's um, some things I'm, I don't like about it, but there's a lot of things I do like about it. In a turn report, I made a grand. I repaired the walls. Good. Uh, does it? What? Does it have any? Is 
still have any um Yeah, it has free upkeep, so why isn't this guy free upkeep? I guess it just sets it next turn, let's do that. See if that fixes it. Oh, I can build some more forest wardens. Nah, don't need to. I could send them down south. Yes, anyway, let's let's have a battle. To battle. To battle. Captain Yager against Legolas. Fight. Muster your courage, men. We Sweet. All right. All right. Start deployment. So I have a lot of horses, or horse archers, should I say? So let's put them. What's oh, actual wall? Look at that. This would be a nice place to have. It's a proper wall. My horse archers aren't going to be anything until I actually get the gate open. So let's put them here and make them unit one. Alright, so who's carrying the baton ram? Okay, good, the forest wardens. So you go first. With some spearmen behind you. Uh, more spearmen on the wall. Uh, I don't really want my archers carrying the ladder. Thank you very much. Um, is that all the swordsmen I have? Well, they're carrying the that. Okay, there. I must have more. Yeah, you pick up the ladder. What a silly! <laughs> Go that way. And you're going to need more help on the right flank. D you don't need ladders. Come on, I made too many ladders. Archers, 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 archers. All in a line, your unit two. And the rest is alright. So start, pause, straight to the wall, straight to the wall, straight to the wall, straight to the wall. And you all start shooting. Oh, I'm getting shot by fire arrows. Alright, well, let's hope nothing gets set on fire. Ah! Except from that guy, he just he just ate it. Oh boy, that's a lot of men. That's a lot of orcs. <laughs> I'm have to just shoot at them, aren't I? What I could do is I could get all of my men on the walls. Am I killing any of them? Yeah, that's a lot of orcs. Holy crap! Oh boy! Go! Run! God, they're all not running. That was stupid. Horses, you might as well start shooting as well, actually. Go shoot. Oh, they're getting peppered. Run! Go! Oh boy! Shoot into the huge crowd, please. <laughs> Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. The battering ram Get is him. in place. It'll not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. Get him. Ram the gates. The siege towers are at the walls. Our enemy have nowhere right. to hide. Now. You should be good against archers because archers aren't great. That. The ladders are now in place. Walls are no match for the valor and force of our arms. Get him. Climb. Right, they're climbing. I'm shooting into this huge clump of orcs. I really do need to capture the capture the walls. I am shooting with all of my archers now though. They're gonna get overrun. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. I'm spread too thin, I think. Our men have done well. Okay. The gates have fallen. At least they're the forest wardens. Alright, let's pause for a second. Like this, we will smash the enemy. You shoot them. And you shoot them. I don't know why my own men are getting shot. Oh, they're retreating. Capture the walls. Get 
Capture it. Am I still shooting Capture into these the ones? Yes, I am. Haha! -ha! They should stop shooting me now. How are these guys doing? They're doing fine. Keep, sh keep hitting them. All of you. Go there. And you. Go there. How are you all doing over here? You're doing alright. This is going okay. Okay, their archery towers are actually shooting at them now, so that's good. Go give these guys a hand. All of you, I want you in. Can you fit? <laughs> Can you fit in here anywhere? Oh, that's a lot of orcs. I don't know if you can fit. Just sit up there for now. Oh boy. Okay. Do that. They might actually get charged. Hopefully they don't. You're killing them? Yeah. So the day I'm filming this is actually New Year's Day. So Happy New Year's everyone. Uh, I don't know <laughs> when this is going to be going out. But happy New Year's. Nonetheless. Are these still shooting at me? Or are they mine now? I don't know. Please don't charge. How are you doing? You still killing these guys? One by one. Okay. Stand there like that. So it's New Year's Day good. I had a better New Year's Eve than I did last year. Uh, I am getting shot by that. I need to capture this. Stuck on the wall. Stuck on the goddamn wall. And they're just blocking me, bastards. Stab him! Stab him better! Who are you? Oh, they're running away. Go up here. So I'll explain my last year's New Year's to you in a bit once this battle's over. Everyone shoot them. Have you killed them yet? Yeah, you have. Okay. Come help. Oh, why did you have to run through this bit? Alright. Only half the enemy force remains. Oh, I might as well say it now while this battle's going. So, this is the story of my 2014 New Year's. So, the 2015 New Year's. So, I had a terrible time last year. Um, many reasons why. But. Uh, we went to London for New Year's. It was a, me and a couple of my work friends. Um, I drove to London. Um, it started off great when one of them was late. And then the one guy here. What was it? He went to Morrison's, which is like the supermarket. And he spent forever in there. I don't know why, but he did. Anyway, we drove there, we got there early, so we all sat in the car. Um, because we're actually we drove down to London to a, a friend's um, a friend's friend's house because he was having a party. And they were like uni students and stuff, so they were obviously uni in London. <coughs> um oh, let's kill them. Kill them. Don't let them escape. There's one orc. Kill him. He's killing them! Son of a bitch! Ah! Cool. We got the wall. 
So, yeah, it was a friend of a friend in London. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. They're really coming after me. Are they coming after me? I might get shooting my own men. That is a lot of arrows. <laughs> See, it was a friend of a friend's in London. We drove down there. I had to. We were planning to stay over the night. Because it's easier. Because driving to London is a pain in the ass. So we had to book a car parking space. And obviously, I was the driver, so I couldn't really drink that night. Well, I could drink the night, but I had to drive the next day. It was about a two hour drive. Yeah, stuff. Anyway, we got there like at 7 o'clock so we were way early so we just sat in the car for about an hour telling stories and stuff then uh and then we went to the party and it was this like student flat and it was right at the top of the top of the place it was right at the top of this like three story building so we walk up there and as we walk up there it's getting smokier and smokier so <laughs> as we're as we get to the top we open the door and my friend is completely off his face, like completely high high as a kite. Um, he, he was puffing the magic dragon all night and you could tell because his eyes, he, well, he, he, he looked like Snoop Dogg, <laughs> basically. <laughs> so immediately we knew where this was going. Um, I should mention this, that uh, me and the well, two of the friends that I was with don't partake in that kind of substance. Um, one of them does, but so he was in his element. But uh, yeah, I don't really go for that kind of thing. So in we go. Oh, there's a general. Dead. So in we go. And was he up here? He must have been up here. Reinforcements. shoot the rest. Um, yeah, we don't partake in that kind of stuff, but the other guy does. Uh, so, he opens the door, greets us, we immediately get the massive smell of it. So we're like, okay. And then my one friend says, why are we here? <laughs> Before we even get upstairs. So then we get to the room where everyone's in, and it is the smallest room that has about 15 people in it. It's probably the size of an in... Uh, oh. I don't. It's it was very small. I, c I can't think of what to compare it to. It was a small room. There was 15 people in it. We open the door. Before we even get to the door, there's smoke seeping from under the door. So we're like, Christ. <laughs> so we open the door. Vroom. The smell hits us. And uh, there are about 15, 15, 20, 21 year old hipsters sat in the room smoking weed. <laughs> I was like, oh great. So. I don't really want to. I don't really want to kind of sit in here as my U years because they were just going to sit in there and then go to this club that we booked. Um, yeah, and they were going to go to the club for the ball to drop. So we're sat in there for a while, and everyone's getting high off their face. Obviously, the ones who, me and my two friends who don't do it, are just kind of sat there awkwardly people that are there aren't trying to talk to us even though we're trying to talk to them I talked to this one girl for a little bit um, no my friend my my other friend he, we call him he's boring um, she was talking to him and then she just randomly started talking to me because apparently she found him boring she was talking to me and then my other friend decided wow well, what the hell uh, I'm bored so I'm going to start smoking so we started smoking it he hasn't done it in years, and he has, there's a reason why he hasn't done it in years, because he had a bad experience. And he did it this time, and he absolutely took it horribly. I don't know how you take weed horribly. I don't know if that's a thing that you can do, but he did. He took it horribly. Oh, hello. <laughs> ah! He took it horribly. Oh, please stop shooting. Stop shooting. No firing at will at you. For you. He took it horribly. He got all tipsy, weird. He wanted to go outside for fresh air, so I took him outside for fresh air. Halfway down, he like crumpled downstairs. I've got a picture of him actually, just like with his hands and his head full of shame. Him saying like he doesn't know where he is and stuff. 
So we go for a little walk. It's freezing. Mind this is England at like winter time. And I drive. I take it back to the car and we sit in the car for a little bit. Um, we end up sitting there for like an hour. By this time, it's about half eleven. Um, because he is completely just out of it. He doesn't know where he is. He's not feeling well. At one point, he's um, he's like, I want to go home. <laughs> so I was like, Yeah, I don't really want to be here either, to be honest. Our men have taken control of the castle. We got it. So then we go back to the room. He's feeling a bit better. Uh, our other poor friend, uh, who doesn't smoke, he was stuck in that room on his own for an hour. So we kind of felt bad because we were sorry for him. Um, so we decided, right, we're not staying in this room on New Year's because it's now half eleven. It's half an hour until the ball drops. We want to be somewhere for it. So we're like, okay, we'll go to the club and we'll meet you guys there. So we go, start walking there. And my one friend who has been kind of uh, secondhand smoked uh, high because he's been sat in that room. Uh, he's like, I'm really hungry. So we're like, okay. He's like, I really want to get some food. So he's like, fine. So we go to McDonald's at quarter to 12 on New Year's. This is a McDonald's in London. It's pretty rough. <laughs> so we go in there and there are people fighting. Um, there's this one girl that um, was getting hit on by this one guy and the, the girl didn't want any of it, but the guy wasn't saying no. So this other guy stood up for her. Like defended her and stuff. <laughs> that guy's like, ah. the enemy army flees the field. Oh. Awed oh. by the victory, I'll continue in we second. We did today. a really good job. So, yeah, he goes up to a defense, and um, I'm not going to end the episode until I finish the story. He goes up to a defense. She takes it wrongly, and for some reason, she's really chabby. Honor. She's like a proper victory. scummy little girl. Um, she kept saying, I'm legal, I'm I'm over the age limit, I can do what I want. Shit like that. Oh, I need to retrain. Um, uh, artist studio, I want that. Uh, Rhodes. She's saying that she could do what I want. Um, and then she kicks the guy who's trying to defend her, right? This don't go down well. So the guy that was trying to hit on her and the guy that was trying to defend her walk out together. Yes, my lord. Um, about a second later, a rogue milkshake, a huge one, mind you, flies through McDonald's, smacks the girl square in the head, and sprays over everybody. Luckily, me and my friends were stood to the side waiting for the food, but it absolutely ruins so many people's like clothes. Obviously, people going out and partying. That one girl was just like her face was just white. Because obviously she was covered in stuff. Probably not the first time this happened by the sounds of her, but you know. Oh yeah, I forgot about him. Um, I turn to my friend, <laughs> and he just gives me a thumbs up, and I'm just like, "Why am I here? This could not be worse." Uh, so then we leave. We're like, right, let's just get to the club and just then we'll go home because <laughs> I don't want to stay here. Path blocked. Da, da, da. So then we're walking to the club. Out of the club comes this guy. He's huge. He looks like the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, um, the massive one. I've forgotten his actual the guy's name. How's there? A, I can get a boat. What's it in? Give me a spy market. Increasing tradable goods. Stables. Silver and horse archers. Practice range. Oh okay, yeah, practice range. So yeah, out comes this guy who is huge. He's like the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. He's got blood streaming down his face. Yes, my lord. He was glassed at the club. So then I'm like, yeah, I don't really know if I want to go to a London club and get glassed, especially if that guy, the huge guy, Your orders, my lord. has come out bleeding. With honor, making so I was like, mm, yeah, uh, I don't really want to go in the club. Land. <laughs> and then my friends were like, yeah, that's probably not a good idea, is it? And we were all just like, no, it's probably not. So then we uh, we decide to drive home. Um, my friend then goes and gets his charger that he left in the house. Um, me and my friend are sat in the car waiting for him. He then yes, says like, oh, let's just stay. Oh, Jesus. All right. Attack. We're like, oh Jesus, he's a, 
he's turned. He's gonna. He wants to stay. Uh, then we convince him to come back because I'm like, I don't care anymore. At this it's point, I'd had enough. I had had a rough year. I wanted a New Year's that was good. Events. It wasn't, and it was just completely shot. So <laughs> I was like, I want to go home. If you don't, if you're not coming, I ain't giving you a lift. Obviously. Oh, look at this place. I'm your ride home. This is my car. If you want to come back, then come back. Um. Is he? He's on bloody spiders! What the f... What the f... What? Shoot! Shoot! Fire at will! Shoot! You idiots. There's spiders coming! <laughs> Is there even an orc in there somewhere? How? What's leading them? I've been ambushed by spiders! Jesus Christ. Is that even doing anything to him? Oh my god, it's not, is it? Oh Christ! Legolas is gonna... Oh, look at that one! Oh my god. Oh my god. This is terrible! Wow! Spiders are OP! Can I make him run? Run away! Wow, that was awful. Jesus Christ, they do a lot of damage. Something changes in the course of our foolish general has thrown his life away. Perhaps our chances of victory with it. Wow. We've been dealt a stinging defeat. Wow, Legolas just died. Okay. By really OP spiders. Alright, fucking hell. What the fuck? Alright, anyway. Um, so I'm like, yeah, I, so I drive home. Um, that's pretty much the story. <laughs> I, c I didn't want. Oh, I really need a fucking general in that place now. Well, that happened, so I got to stick with it. Sorry, Thranduil, I killed your lord, son. My lord. So yeah, that was my New Year's. Um, we did leave the other guy back. He had to get a lift from his uh, my other friend's friends. Um, he wasn't happy, but I was like, "Fuck it, I don't care. I'm not your mum. <laughs> you can find your own way home. You're like 27." Um, yeah. Anyway, that was the story of my New Year's last year. So I'm gonna save. Yeah, even though Legolas died. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.